Hello, my name is Tony Don. Brussels, the European Commission on Thursday find you. Brussels, the European Commission on Thursday find US social media giant Facebook 110 million 120 million for providing incorrect and misleading information on its takeover of WhatsApp. Today's decision sends a clear signal to companies that they must comply with all aspects of EU merger rules including the obligation to provide correct information, EU Competition Commissioner Marguerite Vestager said in a statement. The Commission must be able to take decisions about mergers effects on competition and full knowledge of accurate facts, Vestager said. Facebook said in response that it cooperated with the Commission, and that the errors made were not intentional. We've acted in good faith since our very first interactions with the Commission and we've sought to provide accurate information at every turn, a Facebook spokesperson said. The errors we made in our 2014 filings were not intentional, and the Commission has confirmed that they did not impact the outcome of the merger review. The latest announcement brings this matter to a close. EU regulators cleared the then 19 billion Facebook acquisition of WhatsApp in late 2014, finding no reason to believe it would dampen competition in the burgeoning social media sector. In its statement Thursday, the Commission recalled that the merger rules require companies to provide regulators with the accurate information essential to any review. It noted that when Facebook notified the Commission of the acquisition in 2014, the company had said it would be unable to establish reliable automated matching between Facebook users' accounts and WhatsApp users' accounts. However, in August 2016, WhatsApp announced updates to its terms of service and privacy policy, including the possibility of linking WhatsApp users' phone numbers with Facebook users' identities, it said. After launching a probe last year, the Commission found that, contrary to Facebook statements, in the 2014 merger review process, the technical possibility of automatically matching Facebook and WhatsApp users' identities already existed in 2014, and that Facebook staff were aware of such a possibility. The Commission said Thursday's decision, and the fine would have no impact on its October 2014 clearance of the deal. Thanks for watching video. That, in 19 BN Deal 3, October 2015 Safe Harbor Data Transfer Agreement scuppered by EU4, December 2016 Brussels Opens Competition Probe into WhatsApp Merger 5, May 2017 Facebook Find Over WhatsApp Deal Facebook is the latest Silicon Valley company to find itself in the crosshairs of European regulators, joining Google, Amazon and Apple. Authorities insist that the inquiries are discreet, but one area in which the companies face a coordinated effort is how they collect and use of data. This is the battle Brussels is pondering, and it has two lines of attack data protection and competition policy. The future of big data are not just about technology, Ms. Best Hager said in a speech last autumn, it's about things like data protection, consumer rights and competition things that give people confidence that big data won't harm them. If we want big data to fulfill its promise, then we need to enforce the rules effectively. To lead, a data protection specialist at Field Fisher, the law firm, less concrete than the data privacy concerns, as competition authorities are coming to grips with how to regulate competition in markets without prices, where people exchange their data for free services. The competition rules weren't written with big data in mind. But the issues that concern us haven't changed, Mrs. Vestager says. Most of the time these companies are now powerful not because of assets, 
but because of the data they have, says Jan Philip Albrecht, a Green MEP who oversaw the introduction of the EU's new data protection rules known as GDPR. If you use legally obtained data for market abuse, or for discrimination of consumers, then this should be taken into account by competition long overdue. Delving into Facebook's data practices would not be unexpected for European antitrust authorities. Bundeskartell M, Germany's antitrust agency, is conducting a closely watched investigation into whether the social network abused its market power by infringing data protection rules. And Facebook has to worry about more than just regulators. European consumers are also awakening to their privacy rights and will soon have the right to demand damages. In 2012, Max Schrems, a 24-year-old Austrian law student, launched a series of cases against Facebook for invading his privacy through its aggressive data collection practices. His case led to the European Court of Justice striking down the Safe Harbor Agreement, used by several large U.S. companies to transfer data between Europe and the U.S. Mr. Schrems has also filed a class action suit on behalf of 25,000 Facebook users for the company's privacy violations, for which he is claiming up to 12.5 M. Under GDPR, you will have the right to claim emotional damages for any violation of privacy law, says Mr. Schrems, so if Facebook merges your data with WhatsApp, you can go after them for damages. Imagine if billions of users ask for 500 each. It will be a whole different ball game. Internet companies have so far remained largely unregulated because their services have not been mainstream enough to catch the attention of politicians, he adds. Now, it is a reality in all sectors of the economy, so it has to be regulated like everything else, he says. Europe started off with soft touch regulation, but none of that worked. So they are moving into lawmaking. Additional reporting by Paul McLean and Hannah Kuchler in San Francisco. Trouble in court for social network October 2015 The European Court of Justice rules that the 15-year-old safe harbor agreement that allowed companies to transfer data to the U.S. is invalid based on cases filed by Austrian law student Max Schrems against Facebook for violating his privacy rights February 2016 German court fines Facebook 100. 000 for not adequately informing users how a content they posted would be used March 2016 German competition authority opens probe into whether Facebook abused its marketing power by infringing data protection rules June 2016 Facebook wins an appeal in Belgium against a court ruling that said it inappropriately collected digital information on users and non-users September 2016 Hamburg Data Protection Commissioner orders Facebook to stop storing data of German WhatsApp users December 2016 European Commissioner opens probe into whether Facebook misled it during its 2014 acquisition of WhatsApp May 2017 French Data Protection Agency finds Facebook 150,000 over how it collects and uses consumer data Italy finds WhatsApp 3M for sharing data with its parent group thanks for watching video